Now, we may not expect skin reactions to occur with PPI use, but it can happen. And some of these can be immediate reactions, so they're aminoglobulin E or IgE mediated, and this can occur with all PPIs. There is a possible delayed type hypersensitivity reaction that can occur with esomeprazole and omeprazole. So if we are going to see some rash or some skin reaction, it's going to be a generalized rash involving skin redness and some inflammation. So you may see something like this on the skin. Hives can occur as well, and it can be generalized. So it can be on the torso, it can be on the extremities. Approximately 4% of patients can be affected. So it's still a small number of patients, but it's still something that can occur. And PPIs have also been noted to very rarely be a potential cause of drug-induced subacute lupus erythematosus and occupational contact dermatitis as well. Some other possible side effects can include facial swelling. So facial swelling or facial edema. So lips and tongue can be swollen. So we may have something like this. This can be severe in some patients. If patients have a susceptibility, there can be some severe swelling. And this can, in some cases, if it involves the tongue, if it's severe enough, it can occlude the airway. So this is something very important to look out for. This is going to occur less commonly in less than 4% of patients. Bodily swelling can also occur as well. So there can be peripheral edema, swelling of the extremities. That's what peripheral edema is. And feet, ankles, and hands can be affected. And this is going to occur in less than 2% of patients.